Hi, hello and welcome. In this video we will cover artifacts. This video will serve as an formal introduction into the topic of the artifacts and we will cover some basic terms and definitions just from high level perspective, but a lot of topics will be covered by separate videos. Uh, just a little heads up that if at the end of this video you will feel a little overwhelmed, don't worry at all, it will get easier as you dive deeper into subsequent topics, subsequent videos, and as soon as uh, you will have a little hands-on and practice. We are just trying to solve a chicken-egg problem and uh, we really need to cover some basic terminology first, but as soon as you will start working with artifacts, you will see that it is not that hard and that everything suddenly starts making a sense. So really, don't worry and let's see what artifacts are. So. An artifact is just a general term for an object in doors next. Artifact can refer to any unit of information or any relevant item in the context of a project. Artifact serves as a basic building blocks for capturing, organizing and managing requirements within doors next. Everything you see right here in the uh, module is an artifact. So uh, this heading introduction is an artifact. This information is an artifact. This diagram or sketch is an artifact. This table is an artifact. This mobile phone, this, so this picture is an artifact. Uh, this stakeholder requirement is artifact. Everything is artifact. And not just this separate unit of information, but also this whole module is an artifact. The collection of those requirements uh, is an artifact. Everything Every object, every block of information is an artifact in Doors Next. When we are talking about artifacts, we need to mention what are artifact types, artifact attributes, and artifact formats. And again, don't worry, this is just high level introduction, and we will be working with uh, those terminology throughout the videos, and also we will have separate videos, for example, for artifact types. Okay, so talking about artifact types, what is it? An artifact type is a class of object in a requirements project. So this artifact type is used to differentiate artifacts. As I was talking that every object in requirements management project is an artifact, we need something so we can differentiate what type of artifact it is. For example, that this is heading, this is information, that this is diagram, uh, that this is stakeholder requirement, but you probably have uh, uh, different levels of uh, requirements. So for example, uh, it can be a system, system requirement, a subsystem requirement, etc., etc. Uh, artifact types also can represent use cases, stories, vision statements, uh, software requirements, etc., etc., etc. So artifact type is nothing else, just uh, some identification uh, so we can differentiate between different artifacts. Working with this template, you see that we have many different artifact types defined. For example, you see actor, diagram and sketches we already saw, hardware requirements, hardware specification, etc., etc., etc. All those artifact types were defined by someone. Uh, what does it mean? Uh, how I meant it is that uh, if you will create your own empty component or your own empty project and you will not use any template, you will have no artifact type. So you will need to define every artifact type by yourself. So it's really just company specific or project specific. None of those artifact types is mandatory. Everything is uh, based on your requirements. So just once again, Artifact type is nothing more just an attribute of the artifact that is here to differentiate between different artifacts. So at the first glance, we see that uh, this artifact is in somewhat different from the other artifacts. All right, and as I mentioned attributes, we can continue with attributes. So each artifact typically contains attributes that provide some additional details about the item it represents. So for example, if you would see some document or module with just these contents, you probably would need some additional information in uh, your project lifecycle. And this additional information, as 
seen here can be not just ID or artifact type, okay, that, that uh, one of those information, but also, for example, priority, need, clarity, description, for example, owner or uh, state in workflow you are in, etc., etc., etc. So uh, those additional informations are called artifact attributes. So once again, artifact attributes are just some additional details or additional information, additional properties of the artifact. All right, and last but not least, we have artifact formats. Artifact format is just underlying structure of the artifact. We have just five different artifact formats. Most of the artifact formats you see here are text. You can see artifact format here in this column. So artifact format text is used to capture and store textual information. It allows user to enter and format text using the rich text editing. So you see, you can use bullet points, you can use tables, you can use hyperlinks, you can use also different formatting. So for example, you can have font bigger, uh, bold, uh, underline, italics, etc., etc., uh, with uh, different colors, background, uh, etc. So artifact format text is used to capture and store textual information. But also, for example, uh, you can have actors, use case specification, etc. Uh, used as artifact format text. Another artifact format we have here in this module is diagram. So the diagram artifact format enables us to create and visualize graphical representations, for example, of system architectures, workflows, data flows, business process modeling, uh, use case scenarios, or any other visual model. And we can create and use diagrams directly here in DOOR's next application. So we don't need any other application or any other plugin. We can create and edit diagrams directly here. We will cover diagrams in a separate video where we will also talk about what are the main advantages of creating and using diagrams directly here in Doors Next. Last artifact format that we have here in our module is file. And this is just generic artifact format for any object that can be uploaded to the Doors Next application and is not uh, any other uh, artifact format. So for example, it can be image, it can be video, PowerPoint presentation, PDF presentation, Word document, etc., etc. So uh, everything that is uploaded to the Doors Next will get artifact format file. All right, and last two artifact formats are module. So this whole document we are in, this is module, and this is separate artifact format. And the very last one is collection. We will cover collection in a separate video, just for your information to know that collection is artifact format number five. All those arti artifact formats are pre-created, and uh, they cannot be changed. So while you can create your own attributes, you can create your own artifact types, you cannot create your own artifact formats. So they are set and they are done. They cannot be changed uh, or created. All right, so I think this is it. This is just a really high level overview of basic definitions and terminology that is used with artifacts. And if you would like to know how you can create your own artifact and how you can work with artifact, follow us in subsequent videos. So thank you very much, and I look forward to see you in the next videos.